Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Dan Artelli here. Today's story time is a pretty different one, in my opinion. Um, you know, I always say it's different, in my opinion. Don't fucking roast me in the comments for that. But yeah, today's story time was just awful as fuck, like criminal activity I'm talking about. Not really criminal, but it was just awful. So yeah, like the video if you're new, subscribe. And yeah, let's get into today's story time. Oh, by the way, um, if you're wondering what is this game, tell her. It's a uh, Trials Fusion. Used to be my shit back in the day. And yeah, um, enough talk. Let's get into today's story time. So yeah, um, today's story time takes place in 7th grade, right? A lot of my stories happen in 7th grade, most of them. Like school and stuff. Barely some in 4th grade. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. My, my fault. Um, so today starts off as a normal day, right? 7th grade. I wake up, go, right brush, go brush my teeth, right? I'll take a shower, brush my hair. You know, walk out the door, get picked up. Actually, I took the bus at this time. Now I get picked up for school. Um, so yeah, after I get off my bus, um, I'm talking to my friend, right? His name, we're going to call him Joey. So Joey was a pretty interesting kid, right? Joey's kind of on the weird side, you know. He, he makes a lot of sexual jokes. But yeah, that's besides the point. So I'm just having a pretty normal day, right? I'm just going through my day, being like, going out and about. Then I get to fifth period, lunch time. This one I had lunch time, fifth period. So yeah, I have lunch, right? Go sit with my friends, go talk to them. And then I see Joey just sitting across the gym. Not even the lunchroom. He looks um pretty suspicious looking. And I try to shout out, shout out like, yo Joey. And he was like, he didn't hear me, he ignored me. So yeah, I was just like, whatever, and then started talking to my friends again, but I seen you know, Joey take off his hoodie, right, and then place it over his lap like a blanket, because I thought he was cold, right, and I seen him, I've seen his arms go down into his um, jacket where he's at, so I assume like, you know, his hands must be cold or something, and I was like, wait a minute, it's the middle of fucking summertime, or springtime, his hand shouldn't be cold at all. So I start watching Joey from a distance, because he looks pretty suspicious, right? Um, I seen his hands, like, moving around a lot, and, like, uh, under his jacket. And I seen his hands, like, just start moving his, like, whole pants around, and his, like, feet are just twitching a little bit. And I was like, whoa, he must be really cold then, he's, like, twitching. And then it clicked my head. No fucking way. No fucking way. So yeah, um, little Joey was just, um, twisting his knuckles around. Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. He's, he was fucking jerking off at lunchtime. I'm just being straight up. Not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. So I was like, oh my fucking, and then I just looked the other way because I didn't want to see him fucking jerking off. And then, and then, um, I get home, right? My friend sent me the video of him doing it to like, somebody got it from like a different angle of him just being caught in 4k. So yeah, he just legit just got straight up exposed. And then the next day comes around, we get to school in the morning time, Joey comes to sit by me, and I was, he was like, what's up bro? And I was like, shit, nothing. And then the guy that sent me the video came up to him, he was like, bro, is this you? And then shows him the video of him like, doing the knuckle shuffle. <laughs> and then <laughs> my fault. This shit is so fucking awful. But yeah, he does he just turns fucking red, dude. He just his his nerdy looking face just turns fucking red as hell, dude. Like he knew he got caught. Like, I'm just like I'm just embarrassed too because I just feel so fucking bad for that kid, bro. Like Um I had I have to admit it, um I got caught too one time. I just I just I could just feel his pain right now. Um Luckily, nobody got on fucking record, but I got caught one time. That was a pretty bad time. Not gonna explain that shit ever. I must have the balls to encourage to. But yeah, um, the rest of the year was just people making fun of Joey, and I just felt bad for him. So yeah, um, that was the end of today's story time. So yeah, um, moral of the story: just don't beat your fucking dick, like at school or even at all. It's just bad for you. Like especially lunchtime, where there's like hundreds of people inside the gym. Or like the lunch room. Just don't fucking knuckle shuffle inside of like a public place area. Not even on the bus or anything. Don't even risk it. 
So yeah, um, like the video if you're new, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Okay, goodbye.